In this video we're going to look at the order of operations. We'll do these four pages. We'll start with the uh, what the order of operations is and then this is page two, these examples, page three, these examples, and finishing up with page four, these examples. Okay. So on page one, the order of operations is an agreed upon um, steps by which to calculate uh, math. Okay. So the world agrees that we follow this rule, PEMDAS, P-E-M-D-A-S. Uh, some students memorize, please excuse my dear Aunt Sally, to memorize PEMDAS, and some people just mem remember PEMDAS. So, so what it means is when you are calculating math, you calculate inside parentheses first. Okay. Then you calculate exponents. So please take this down. So uh, number one, we do parentheses. Number two, we do exponents. The third step is we multiply or divide from left to right. Uh, L to R, left to right. Okay, and the fourth thing we do is we add or subtract from left to right. Okay, so uh, left right means starting the left, go to the right. So we start with parentheses, do all, everything inside, do all the operations inside parentheses first. Then we calculate exponents, then we multiply or divide from left to right, and then we add or subtract from left to right. So multiply and divide uh, have the same or importance level, adding and subtracting have the same importance level, basically. So let's begin with some examples. Um, if you have 5 minus 2 all squared, and I guess you might want to keep your rules here on a separate piece of paper so that you can, you know, use it uh, throughout the course whenever you need it. Okay. Okay. So if we go to page two, uh, we'll do these examples. So let's start. Just write this first one down. Five minus two in parentheses, and then there's an exponent of two on that. It's a squared, right? So um, we've got to do parentheses first when we calculate this expression. Now that means you figure out whatever's inside the parentheses and then you do the next operations. So we start with parentheses and then we'll do the exponent because this is how the order of operations says. You start with parentheses then do exponents then multiply or divide from left to right, then add or subtract from left to right. So we start with do what's inside the parentheses. 5 minus 2 gives 3, and then we need to square that. And 3 squared is just, you know, 3 times 3, which is 9. So how about this one? What would you do here? 8 divided by 4 in parentheses, then to the power of 4. What operation do we try to do first? Do we try to do the exponent first or do we do inside the parentheses first? Inside parentheses, right? And 8 divided by 4 is 8 divided by 4 is 2. So we have 2 to the power of 4, right? Which is 2 times itself 4 times which is Sixteen, right? So go ahead and do this one by yourself. Three plus one in parentheses, all cubed. Three plus one in parentheses, all cubed. To the power of three. Okay, I hope you've tried it. Press pause if you need more time. I'm going to do it now. The order of operations says we do parentheses first, then exponents. So we do what's inside the parentheses, which is three plus one, giving us four. All cubed means 4 times itself 3 times. 4 times 4 is 16. 16 times 4 gives 64. Okay. So how about these guys? 3 times 4 squared. What would you do with that? 3 times 4 squared. Write this one down. 
So the question, we have two operations. We have an exponent and we have multiply. Which do we do first, the exponent or the multiply? Look at your order of operations. We do the exponent first, then multiply or divide, right? So the exponent is 4 squared, which is 4 times 4, which is 16, right? And then we have 3 times that, 3 times 16. Write down the answer. Three sixes is eighteen, three tens is thirty, eighteen and thirty is forty-eight, right? So what about this one? Eight plus two times three. We've got two operations. We've got addition and we have multiplication. Which do we do first? Do we do eight and two is ten? Then times three is thirty? Or what? Well, the order of operations says you've got to multiply first and then add, right? So we multiply first, 2 times 3, that gives us 6, and then we go 8 plus 6, which is 14. So just to see, like if we had have done the wrong operations, if we had have added 8 and 2 to get 10, and then times by 3, the answer would be 30. Now that's wrong, and 30 isn't the same thing as 14, right? So you need the order of operations to get the right answer, basically. So how about this one? 40 minus 10 divided by 5. We've got a subtraction and we've got a division. What do we do first? Order of operations says PEMDAS. So divide is here, subtract is here. Which comes first, divide or subtract? Divide, right? And then subtract? So we need to go 10 divided by 5 first of all. And that will give what? 2, right? So now we have 40 minus 2, which is 38, right? So what I'd like you to do is press pause to each one of these examples all by yourself, these last ones here, each one all by yourself, and then um, check the video and see if you get the right answer. So. You're going to do each of these examples all by yourself. This one, this one, this one, and this one. Then you're going to um, check the video and just make sure you have the right answers. Okay? Okay, so off you go. Press pause and try them, then I'll do them. Okay, I hope you press pause and try them. I'm going to do them quickly now. The first one has a parenthesis in it. We always do what's inside parentheses first. So we go 7 minus 2 is 5, and that's cubed. So that gives us 5 times itself 3 times, and um, that's 25 times 525. So please fix this one if you missed this one. I'm going on to this one now. Hope you press pause and try to fix this one if you need to. So this one has a division and an exponent. Order of operation says do exponents first, then divide. So the exponent is 4 squared, which is 16. Now we've got to calculate 16 divided by 16, and 16 divided by 16 is 1. Okay. The next one is 10 plus 10, or 10 plus 8 divided by 2. Order of operation says we must divide and then add. So 8 divided by 2 is what we do first. That gives 4. Then we go 10 plus 4. That gives 14. On this one, we have a subtraction and we have a multiplication. Order of operation says we multiply and then we get to subtraction. So if I multiply first, 3 times 4 is 12. Now I have 20 minus 12, and that is 8. Okay? So, on to page 3. Uh, let's see. Do, 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 do. Okay. So, if I had something like this 3 times 2 plus 4 times 5, what do I do first here? I have two multiplications and one addition. Right? So, well, add is, multiply is here, add is down here. So we, we have to do add last. So we've got to do multiplications. And, you know, usually go from left to right. So we'll go from left to right, we'll do 3 times 2 is 6, you know. And, in fact, you could also multiply these guys at the same time. 4 times 5 is 20, right? So we do all our multiplications, and then we do the addition. Does that make sense? 
So that would be 26. So what about this one? 5 times 3 minus 2 times 1. Press pause and see if you can figure this one out yourself. Do this one by yourself. 5 times 3 minus 2 times 1. Okay, I'll do it now. PEMDAS says we must multiply and then subtract. So we do all the multiplications first, then we subtract at the end. So 5 times 3, 15. 2 times 1 is 2. Now we subtract and we get 13. Okay? How about this one? 3 squared plus 4 squared. We've got uh, two exponents and an addition. If you look at your order of operations, what should we do first? Any idea? Well, looks like we should add last. I mean, the exponents are up here. They've got to be done first, and then we add at the end. So what's 3 squared? 3 squared is 3 times 3, isn't it? Which is 9. What's 4 squared? 4 multiplied by 4. 4 multiplied by 4 is 16. So we've done our exponents first, then we add at the end. 9 and 16 is 25. Okay. Now here we've got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 operations. We've got 2 exponents, 2 multiplies, and a subtract. So what should we do first here? Well, the trick is you kind of go from left to right and you just do all the ex parentheses first, then do all the exponents, then do all the multiplies or divides, then do all the add or adds or subtracts. So we come along, we do all the parentheses, well there are none, so that's, that's out of the way, you don't have to worry about that. And then we come along and do all the exponents. Now what exponents do we have? We have 4 squared and we have 3 squared. So let's do all the exponents from left to right. So we're going to go 3 times, now what's 4 squared? We just got that one right. That's 16, isn't it? Minus 2 times, and so we're going to come along, we're doing all the exponents. 3 squared is what? 3 squared is 9. Then we come along, we go from left to right and do all the multiplies or divides as they appear. And then do all the adds or subtracts as they appear. Okay. So we do all the multiplies or divi divisions. So we've got 3 times 16. What's that make? And you know, you can have, uh, you know, side of your side of your page, you've got 3, okay, 16 times 3. 3 times 6 is 18. Carry the 1. 3 times 1 is 3 and 1 is 4. So that's 48. And we also have another multiplication. 2 times 9 is 18. And finally, we come along and do all the adds or subtracts from left to right. And we have 48 minus 18, which is 30, right? So, can you do this one? See if you can press pause and do this one by yourself. And then I'll do it. Press pause and try this one by yourself, then I'll do it. This is 15 times 2 to the power of 3 minus 4 times 3 to the power of 3. Okay, I'll, I'll do it now with you. So we first of all come along, we go from left to right and do all the parentheses. There are none, so that's that's fine. Now we come along and do all the exponents from left to right. So the first exponent we do is 2 cubed. Now 2 cubed is 2 times 2 times 2. What does that make? 2 times 2 is 4. 4 times 2 is 8, right? So we have 15 times 8. And then we have another exponent. We have 3 cubed. So we're going from left to right doing all the exponents. Now 3 cubed, of course, is 3 times 3 times 3. What does that make? 9 times 3 is 27, right? So we have all the parentheses done, all the exponents done. Now we need to go from left to right and do all the multiplications or divisions. So we've got 15 times 8. Let's do that. And we can do it up on a different part of the page. We've got, okay, 15 times 8. 8 times 5 is 40. Carry the 4. 8 times 1 is 8 and 4 is 12. So 120. And what's 4 times 27? 27 times 4. 4 is 28. Carry 2. 4 twos is 8 and 2 is 10. So this is 108. 
So we've gone from left to right and done all the multiplies or divides. Now we go from left to right and do adds or subtracts. And we just have one subtraction. 120 minus 108 is... One, ten, two, and twelve. Right? Okay, so on to page four. Um, we're going to focus on what. Uh, we'll start with looking at this. What does it mean to add or subtract from left to right? Well, let me show you what it means. A lot of people get confused on this, and that's understandable. If you have 10 minus 6 plus 3, and if you just followed PEMDAS literally and thought that you should add first and then subtract, you would make a mistake on this. So watch out. Look what happens when you make a mistake. You're, you would say, okay, addition comes first because of PEMDAS, C-A-S. So addition comes first, so I'll go 6 plus 3 and that'll give me 9. Now, I'll do subtraction last, 10 minus 9 is 1. But that is completely wrong. Because 10 minus 6 plus 3 is trying to say, like, you're supposed to go from left to right. And addition and subtraction are the same level of importance. So we're supposed to add or subtract going from left to right. So we go from left to right and do all the adds or subtracts. So the first subtract we see is 10 minus 6. Now that, that gives 4. Then we have to add 3. And 4 and 3 make 7. Not 1. See that? So this is wrong. This is right. See what I mean? So another one would be 8 minus 5 plus 1. Again, if you just follow PEMDAS literally, you would add first and 5 and 1 gives you 6. And 8 minus 6 is 2. But this is wrong because what we must remember is add or subtract have the same level of importance and we need to go from left to right and do whichever one appears first. So the first add or subtract that appears is a subtraction 8 minus 5. So we must do that first. So basically we add or subtract from left to right. Okay. So 8 minus 5 is 3 and now we have 3 plus 1 and 3 plus 1 makes 4. So the answer is 4, not what some people might get, which would be 2. Okay, so you got to watch out for that. So let's have a look at what does it mean to multi multiply or divide from left to right. Okay, once again, we've got 40 divided by 4 times 10. And what it means is you go from left to right, and you remember that multiplier multiplication and division are at the same level of importance in the in the language of math. I mean this is agreed upon in the world. Um, it, it's not something that is common that you should just kind of know because it's uh, an obvious thing. It's not it's not obvious. It's just the rule. It's like a rule of math that everyone in the world has agreed upon. Okay? So we go from left to right, and we see that we're, we're supposed to learn that multiplication and division are the same level of importance, so we do whichever one comes first from left to right. So when I go from left to right, I see, look, 40 divided by 4. Here's a div there's a division and a multiplication. This division came first when I was reading from left to right, when I was reading from here to here. Okay, And 40 divided by 4 is 10, right? And 10 multiplied by 10 is all we have now, and we just calculate that. What's 10 times 10? 100, right? Now, if I had made a mistake, the mistake is to take PEMDAS completely literally and to think that you multiply first, then you divide. Because if you multiplied first, 4 times 10 would be 40, and you would have 40 divided by 40, which is 1. And 1 isn't the same thing as 100. So you can see the mistake there. Okay? So this is wrong, this is right. So how would you do this one? 60 divided by 3 times 2. You've got a division and a multiplication. We're supposed to go from left to right, this way, okay, this way, and we're supposed to uh, multiply or divide whichever we see first. So which multiplication or division do you see first, reading from left to right? You see, 60 divided 
by 3. And that's what you need to do first, right? 60 divided by 3 is 20. Now we have 20 multiplied by 2, which is 40, right? And once again, if I had it done the wrong operation first, if I just took Pem, that's completely literally multiplied first, 3 times 2 would be 6, I'd have 60 uh, divided by 6, which is 10. Now that's wrong, the answer should have been 40. Okay? So, please press pause and do these two guys by yourself. Um, 13 minus 2 plus 10, and 100 divided by 5 times 2. Do this example and this example. Okay, I hope you've pressed pause and tried it. I'm going to go over it now. On this first example, we have a subtraction and an addition. They're the same level of importance. We're supposed to go from left to right and add or subtract whichever we see first. Now, the first operation we see is subtraction. So we do that first. 13 minus 2 gives 11. Then we add on 10 and we get 21. On this one, we have a division and a multiplication. These have the same level of importance. We're supposed to go from left to right and do whichever division or multiplication appears first. So 100 divided by 5 is what we see first, and that gives 20. 20 times 2 is 40. Okay. 